Bombardier Aerospace French, Bombardier Aeronautique is a division of Bombardier Inc. It is headquartered in Dorval, Quebec, Canada. History After acquiring Canadair in 1986 and restoring it to profitability, in 1989 Bombardier acquired the near-bankrupt Short Brothers Aircraft Manufacturing Company in Belfast, Northern Ireland. This was followed in 1990 by the acquisition of the bankrupt American company Learjet, a manufacturer of business jets headquartered in Wichita, Kansas, and finally the money-losing Boeing subsidiary, de Havilland Aircraft of Canada based in Toronto, Ontario in 1992. The aerospace company now accounts for over half of Bombardier Inc.'s revenue. In 2015 and 2016, the most popular aircraft included its Dash 8 Series 400, CRJ 100, 200 440 and CRJ 700, 901 thousandths lines of regional airliners although the company was devoting most of its research and development budget to the newer C-Series. It also manufactured the Bombardier 415 amphibious water bomber in Dorval and North Bay, and the Global Express and the Challenger lines of business jets. The C-Series, which Bombardier offers in several size versions, is competing with the Airbus A318 and Airbus A319, the Boeing 737 Next Generation 737-600 and 737-700 models, and the Embraer 195. Bombardier claims the C-Series would burn 20% less fuel per trip than these competitors, which would make it still about 8% more fuel efficient than the Boeing 737 MAX, which was introduced in 2017. The launch customer for the C-Series, Lufthansa, signed a letter of intent for up to 60 aircraft and 30 options in 2008. The manufacturing complex in Montreal was redeveloped by Ghaffari Associates to incorporate lean manufacturing of its C Series aircraft. In January 2012, the company began manufacturing simple structures such as flight controls for the CRJ series from a transitional facility near Casablanca, Morocco, its first facility in Africa. On 30 September 2013, it broke ground on its permanent facility, due to open late 2014. In October, a joint development deal between Bombardier Aerospace and a government-led South Korean consortium was revealed, to develop a 90-seater turboprop regional airliner, targeting a 2019 launch date. The consortium would include Korea Aerospace Industries and Korean Airlines. In November 2012, the company signed the largest deal in its history, with Swiss business jet operator Vistajet, to deliver 56 Global Series jets for a total value of $3.1 billion. The deal included an option for Bombardier to manufacture and sell an additional 86 Global Jets, which would value the entire transaction at $7.3 billion. In April 2013, Canada's Porter Airlines placed a conditional order for 12 C-Series aircraft, with options for another 18. However, this was conditional on the Billy Bishop Toronto City Airport on an island just off downtown Toronto allowing jets to use the facilities and on a 550-metre extension of a runway. Studies underway included an environmental assessment, master planning exercise and preliminary runway design. In 2015, the Government of Canada announced that it would not approve a change to allow jets at the airport and the proposal was shelved. In January 2014, Bombardier Inc. cut 1,700 employees from Bombardier Aerospace to save costs due to a 19% drop in orders in 2013. In July the same year, Bombardier reorganized its corporate structure in response to its underperformance. President Guy Hatchie retired and Bombardier Aerospace was split into three divisions, business aircraft, commercial aircraft and aerostructures, and engineering services. As part of the corporate overhaul, 1,800 jobs were cut. In its 2014 year-end statement, Bombardier Aerospace reported that it had reduced the number of employees by 3,700 over the year, delivered 290 aircraft and had orders for 282 more, and also claimed strong long-term potential. On 29 October 2015 Bombardier announced a $4.9 billion third quarter loss and took a $3.2 billion write-down on the CS series in the third quarter. 
Bombardier also said it would cancel its Learjet 85 program, taking another $1.2 billion write down and canceling the 64 outstanding orders. Particularly because of the C series, the company's debt had reached approximately $9 billion. Bombardier shares fell 17.4% on that day, perhaps because the C series had not recorded a single firm order since September 2014. As of the 21st of December 2015, the company had only 243 firm orders for the C series, but a $2.5 billion cash infusion, $1 billion from the provincial government, plus a $1.5 billion investment from the Caisse de Depots et Placements du Quebec, was keeping the parent company adequately funded and optimistic. At that time, the federal government had not yet made a decision as to whether a grant would be provided but Prime Minister Justin Trudeau told the media on the 11th of December that he was well aware of the importance of the aerospace sector to the country's economy. On 17 February 2016, Bombardier announced its 2015 profits were $138 million before taking a $5.4 billion write-down. That same week, the company also announced it would cut 7,000 jobs, after a very long and expensive development process, costing $5.4 billion to date, and including a $3.2 billion writ-off. The small 110-125 seat CS100 version of the C-Series received initial type certification from Transport Canada on 18 December 2015. At the time, the company had only 243 firm orders and letters of intent and commitment for another 360, with the most recent in September 2014. Most of these were for the CS300 model. The first CS100 was expected to be flying by mid 2016 in Lufthansa colors. Certification is a great thing, but 2016 is going to be critical for orders. Analyst Chris Murray, a Managing director with Alta Corp. told Bloomberg Business. Fred Cromer, president of Bombardier's commercial aircraft unit hinted during a press conference on 21 December 2015 that price cuts, or other incentives, may be offered during negotiations in order to jump start sales list price for the CS100 was $71.8 million and for the CS382 million. In addition to attractive prices, customers are going to want support, they are going to want spares, they are going to want training." He explained. While Cromer would not offer specifics, his comments about the possibility of an aggressive deal were widely published worldwide and were likely to plant the seed about discounting in the minds of potential purchasers. In an attempt to boost its profit margin, Bombardier Aerospace announced on 12 January 2016 that it would cancel deals with its third-party sales agent Tag Aeronautics. The company also said it would cancel 24 firm and 30 optional orders for its aircraft, hoping to resell these later, without paying a sales agency fee. In January 2016, United announced the planned purchase of 40,737 700s, followed by an order of another 25 of the same planes in March. Oddly enough, United realized several months later they actually didn't want any of these planes and converted them to four of the larger 737 800s and 61 737 MAX jets. Marketing of the C series was adversely affected by production delays and stiff competition in early 2016. On the 20th of January, United Continental Holdings Inc. announced that it had ordered 40 Boeing 737-700s instead. Air Canada announced it would purchase up to 75 CS 300s, a larger variant of the C series, on the 17th of February 2016. Prior to this announcement, there had been no orders for C Series aircraft since 2014. The C Series program was expected to have positive cash flow after approximately 200 aircraft are delivered. David Tyerman, an analyst with Canaccord Genuity, commented the difficulty in winning orders illustrates market difficulties faced by Bombardier and questions how profitable the next C Series order they win will be for them. According to Bjorn Ferm of the aviation consulting firm Liam Company, the first 15 C-Series aircraft produced in 2016 each cost Bombardier $60 million to make, but will sell for only $30 million. Bombardier had been in negotiation with Delta Air Lines and the latter finally placed an order in April 2016 for 75 of the CS100 series models with an option for 50 additional aircraft. 
At full list price, the deal would total $5.6 billion but some sources were convinced that Delta had received a significant discount. Air Canada also firmed up its tentative order for C-Series jets in late June 2016. The company ordered 45 of the CS300s with an option for another 30. Statements by the two companies indicated that the firm sale would be worth $3.8 billion, and the option would increase that to $6.3 billion if it were exercised. However, these figures are based on the full list price of the aircraft. Deliveries would not start until late 2019. In the meantime, negotiations were continuing with the federal government for a subsidy of $1 billion. The next day, Bombardier delivered the first C-Series aircraft to Swiss International Airlines which was the first to start flying them. Topic. Comac collaboration On 24 March 2011, Shanghai-based Commercial Aircraft Corporation of China COMAC, and Bombardier Inc. signed a framework agreement for a long-term strategic cooperation on commercial aircraft. The intention was to break the near duopoly of Airbus and Boeing. Aircraft covered by the program included the Bombardier CRJ series, C series and Q series, and the COMAC ARJ-21 and COMAC C919. Topic. Airbus partnership On 16 October 2017, Bombardier Aerospace and Airbus announced a partnership on the C-Series program and in July 2018 Airbus acquired a 50.01% majority stake, Bombardier keeping 31% and Investissement Quebec 19%, to expand in an estimated market of more than 6,000 new 100-150 seat aircraft over 20 years. As a result of this arrangement the C-Series is now marketed by Airbus as the Airbus A220. Access to Airbus's supply chain expertise is intended to save production costs while the headquarters and primary assembly line remain in Quebec, while U.S. customers will benefit from a second assembly line at the existing Airbus Mobile factory in Alabama. Airbus did not pay for its share in the program, nor did it assume any debt. Airbus insists that the company has no plan to buy out Bombardier's stake in the C-Series program and Bombardier would remain a strategic partner after 2025, however clauses allow it to buy out Quebec's share in 2023 and Bombardier's seven years after the deal closes, though it also stipulates production is required to remain in Quebec until at least 2041. Bombardier CEO Alain Bellemare said the partnership would significantly accelerate sales. It brings certainty to the future of the program so it increases the level of confidence that the aircraft is there to stay. Combining the C-Series with Airbus's global scale will take the C-Series program to new heights. Topic 2018 On 8 November 2018, Viking Air parent Longview Aviation Capital Corp. acquired the Dash 8 program and the de Havilland brand from Bombardier, in a deal that should close by the second half of 2019. Viking had already acquired the discontinued de Havilland Canada Aircraft Model Type Certificates in 2006. By November 2018 the sales of the higher performance Q400 were slower than the cheaper ATR aircraft. Bombardier announced the sale was for $300 million and expects $250 million net. The sale will result in $250 million annual savings. Bombardier also sold its business jet training program to CAE Inc. for $645 million and announced 5,000 job cuts over 18 months within 70,000 employees worldwide, 500 within 6,500 in Ontario, 2,500 in Quebec and 2,000 outside Canada. Bombardier is keeping its options open with regard to its loss-making CRJ line, as it shifts its focus from commercial to business aircraft. Bombardier should increase business jet shipments from 135 in 2018 to 150 to 155 in 2019. Bombardier plans revenues of $16.5 billion in 2018, rising to over $20 billion in 2020 with a free cash flow of $0.75 cents minus $1 billion, mostly due to the large global 7,500. 
Business aircraft revenues should increase from $5 billion for 2018 to $6.25 billion in 2019 and $8.5 billion in 2020 with 180 deliveries, including aftermarket within the 4,700 aircraft fleet doubling from the 28% captured in 2015. Aerostructures and engineering services should grow from $2 billion in 2018 to $2.25 billion in 2020. Airliner revenues should shrink from $1.7 billion to $1.4 billion in 2019, having losses to $125 million, with deliveries flat at 35 CRJs and Q400s, and should be profitable with CRJs only in 2020. Topic. Government subsidy controversies Topic. Embraer Brazil and Canada engaged in an international, adjudicated trade dispute over government subsidies to domestic aircraft manufacturers in the late 1990s and early 2000s. The World Trade Organization decided that Brazil ran an illegal subsidy program, ProEx, benefiting Brazilian manufacturer Embraer from at least 1999-2000, and that Canada illegally subsidized its indigenous regional airliner industry. In late September 2017, the World Trade Organization announced that it would consider Brazil's complaint filed in February, including allegations that the Canadian government unfairly subsidized the C-Series. Embraer claimed that the subsidies are an unsustainable practice that distorts the entire global market, harming competitors at the expense of Canadian taxpayers. Topic. Boeing On 28 April 2016, Bombardier Aerospace sold 75 C-Series CS100 firmly plus 50 options to Delta Airlines. On 27 April 2017, Boeing filed a petition for dumping them at $19.6 million each, below their $33.2 million production cost. On 9 June 2017, the U.S. International Trade Commission USITC found the U.S. industry could be threatened. On 26 September, the U.S. Department of Commerce DOC, observed subsidies of 220% and will collect deposits based on these. It will add 80% preliminary anti-dumping duty on top, resulting in a total duty of 300%. The DOC announced its final ruling, a total duty of 292%, on 20 December. On 10 January 2018, the Canadian government filed a complaint at the World Trade Organization against the U.S. On 26 January 2018, the USITC four commissioners unanimously determined the U.S. industry is not threatened and no duty orders will be issued, overturning the imposed duties. The Commission public report was made available by February 2018. On March 22, Boeing declined to appeal the ruling. Topic. 2015-2016 government assistance On 29 October 2015, the Quebec government announced that it would invest $1 billion roughly CAD $1.3 billion to save the struggling C-Series and protect jobs in what some called a risky gambit. That would give the province a 49.5% interest in the limited partnership that will control the assets, liabilities and obligations of the C-Series program. Media reports initially suggested that Bombardier had also asked Ottawa for a repayable loan of $350 million but it became clear that the province expected the federal government match its $1 billion loan in return for a near 50% stake in the C-Series Jets project. There would be unbelievable pressure on this government to help the company ian lee an economics professor at carleton university's sprott school of business predicted aid was definitely essential because the project has saddled bombardier with debt forcing it into a struggle to raise cash in order to keep it afloat both the provincial and federal contributions would be in the form of a repayable loan but it is questionable whether they would ever be repaid according to independent economist mark milk in fact, Milk also referred to the bailout loans as corporate welfare, 
In the Globe and Mail of the 4th of November 2015, a few days after his swearing-in on the 10th of November 2015, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau told the Canadian Labour Congress that Bombardier Inc must make a strong business case for federal aid. Trudeau agreed that the company exemplified important high-value manufacturing. An extremely important part of Canada for years to come. Aerospace is a great example of that, as is the auto sector and others. But made it clear that the government's decision would be based on the best interest of Canadians, not on emotion, politics or symbols. Finally, in April 2016, the federal government offered an aid package to the company but as of 15 April, had not divulged the amount or conditions it imposed. On that date, some media reported that Bombardier had rejected the offer but an unnamed source advised Reuters that in fact, negotiations were still underway. On 14 April 2016, Bombardier shares were at a six-month high based on rumors that Delta had ordered C-Series jets. On 28 April the order for 75 aircraft, with an option for 50 more at a later date, was confirmed by Delta. However, George Ferguson, senior airlines and aerospace analyst at Bloomberg Intelligence, told the Toronto Star that his calculations indicated that Bombardier sold the C-Series for $4 million on average per plane less than what it costs to make. The company continued to request a $1 billion aid package from the federal government. In mid-May, news reports indicated that the federal government had offered a $1 billion aid package in addition to the $1 billion subsidy offered by the government of Quebec but with a condition, that the company eliminate the dual-class share structure which enables the Bombardier and Bodoin families to control Bombardier in spite of only a minority ownership. According to Bloomberg, the talks were at a standstill on 13 May because of this condition. The federal plan also recommended that the company issue new shares to gain $1 billion in additional funding. Negotiations between the Trudeau government and Bombardier were still underway on 8 July 2016 with some wondering whether giving a $1 billion to a company that had lost $6.5 billion in two years would be a logical investment. Nonetheless, the Toronto Star predicted that the government would proceed with the bailout because bankruptcy for the company would lead to the loss of some 70,000 jobs and the loss of significant Canadian exports, which had totaled $34.2 billion in the previous five years. In May 2016 Federal Finance Minister Bill Murnau said the aerospace sector is critically important to Canada. In February 2017, the federal government agreed to provide Bombardier with $372.5 million in interest-free repayable loans, to be issued in installments over the following four years. Most of that amount was intended to aid the production of the global 7,000 business aircraft, one-third was intended for the C-Series. Aircraft. <inaudible> 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 Topic Current Topic Business Jets Learjet Family Learjet seventy seventy fifths Bombardier Challenger Family Challenger three hundred fifty Challenger six hundred fifty Bombardier Global Express Family Global Express XRS, 5000-6000 series Global 7000-8000 series from 2019 Topic. Commercial jets Bombardier CRJ 700 series 70-100 passengers Airbus A220 series 100-160 passengers partial ownership Topic. Turboprops Bombardier Dash 8 Q400 only, until 2019 Topic. Former Topic. Business jets Learjet 35 
Learjet 55 Learjet 40 Learjet 45 Learjet 60 Learjet 85 Bombardier Challenger 850 Topic. Commercial jets Bombardier CRJ 100 two hundredths 50 passengers Topic. Turboprops Bombardier Dash 8 earlier models CL 415 Short 330 Short 360 Topic. Other Short Tucano Military Trainer Bombardier CL-327 Guardian UAV prototype Topic. Current facilities Bombardier Aerospace has manufacturing, engineering and services facilities in 27 countries. The production facilities are located in Canada, the United States, the United Kingdom, Northern Ireland, Mexico and Morocco. On May 3, 2018, Bombardier announced the sale of its Toronto Downsview facility where it manufactures the global business jet family and the Q400 regional turboprops for $635 million, leased back for 3 to 5 years to maintain Q400 production, while a 38 acres, 15 hectares site is leased at Toronto Pearson International Airport to open a final assembly plant for the global business jets. Topic. Canada Montreal Trudeau International Airport, Headquarters. Challenger 300, 605 and 850 final assembly and flight test. Global family interior completion. Montreal Mirabel International Airport, CRJ-700, CRJ-900, CRJ-1000 and A220 Family Final Assembly and Flight Test. Saint Laurent, Quebec, Product Development Center. Cockpit and aft fuselage manufacturing facility. Downsview Airport, Bombardier-8 Final Assembly and Flight Test. Toronto Pearson International Airport, Global Family Final Assembly. Topic. Mexico Queretaro, Aircraft Component Manufacturing Facility for Learjet 85, Challenger 605, CRJ 700, CRJ 900, CRJ 1000 Next Gen, Q400 Next Gen and Global 6000 7 thousandths. Topic. Morocco Casablanca – Flight controls for CRJ series aircraft. Topic. United Kingdom Belfast – Northern Ireland – Aircraft fuselage, engine nacelle, wing manufacturing and assembly facility. Topic. United States Wichita, Kansas, Learjet Family Final Assembly and Flight Test. Topic. Former facilities Topic. Canada North Bay Airport, Bombardier CL-415 was the final assembly and flight test until production ended in 2015. After a lull in 2002, the plant was restarted by contractor Vortex Aerospace Services in 2005. While production has ended, Vortex continues to provide training for CL-415 at the facility. Topic. Production. Bombardier Aerospace Fiscal or Calendar Year Delivery of Regional, Business and Amphibious Aircraft 
Topic Gallery Topic See also Viking Air, Canadian manufacturer that purchased the type certificates from Bombardier for all discontinued de Havilland Canada designs. <laughs> Notes <laughs>